guys, uh, welcome to the first uh, of the three um, Monster Jam uh, diecast, Monster Truck diecast reviews, review videos. Uh, so we're gonna start the review. So the first review video we're gonna do uh, is of series uh, 32. Uh, so let's do the uh, assortment breakdown before we do the review. So we have uh, the Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Phased Out Northern Nightmare, the Chase Piece Slicer, Monster Jam Ranger Rescue, Velociraptor, which is the first edition for this year, the Monster Jam Stunt Truck, the Purple Grave Digger, the Legend, which looks really awesome. The Steel Reveal, Son of a Digger. And the Legacy Trucks Dragon, which we're actually going to start today's review with the Legacy Trucks Dragon, so let's open it up. Okay, so here's the first of the nine trucks for Series 32, the Legacy Trucks Dragon. Uh, pretty much your standard dragon, uh, but with a black roll cage, gray chassis, uh, green rims with black tires and BK white BKT printing. Uh, pretty clean release. Um, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Dragon, just one of those trucks that gets released quite a lot, but with different like uh, color variations for like the rims and stuff. Uh, pretty cool. Um, uh, obviously, not my favorite release, but still a pretty cool release. I like how the green rims match the body. Um, but yeah, uh, there you go. That is the uh, Dragon. First one out of the way, since really there's not much to talk about with the Dragon. Uh, and then the uh, uh, next one we're gonna take a look at is the Monster Mart Rottweiler. Let's open it up. Okay, so here's Monster Mart Rottweiler. Uh, um, just another uh, Rottweiler release. Uh, this is actually, uh, I believe the uh, third time we're seeing a Monster Mart Rottweiler with the uh, ears down, which is uh, new. Um, and then uh, pretty much the Rottweiler body is the same otherwise. Um, uh, but this time with uh, black roll cage, um, an orange chassis, uh, black rims with orange tires, which uh, the orange tires are look pretty cool on this release. So yeah, there's the uh, Rottweiler. Again, another uh, truck, not much to talk about, but still a new variation. So uh, pretty cool, I guess. And then the uh, uh, next one we're gonna take a look at is the Monster Jam Stunt Truck. All right, so here is the Monster Jam Stunt Truck. Um, uh, despite the bubble being busted, it actually rolls pretty good. So that's so that so that's a good thing. So it'll so obviously it'll be good for sign up series. Oh, the casting is pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, this is actually my first time having uh, the uh, standard stunt truck body loose because um, my other ones are carded since uh, they were originally Superstore exclusives. Hang on, let me fix that tire real quick. Eh, that will do. Uh, so I know a lot of people were kind of upset this got released in the singles packs because, I mean, it was originally a Superstore exclusive and that kind of... Uh, take away takes away the exclusive factor um, but it is kind of a compromise for uh, uh, any collector that like lives uh, in like um, Mexico Canada Europe um, so I mean uh, my friend uh, Austin sports 13 uh, uh, he's a fellow uh, Moss Jam youtuber uh, go check out go check out his content he's awesome uh, I'll, uh, I'll tag his channel uh, in the description um, if you want to go check him out, he, he makes awesome content, go check him out. He's awesome. So yeah, so he, he lives in Canada and, uh, obviously, unfortunately the Superstore does not ship to him. So like I said, it's a compromise, I guess, for though, for any country that the ship, that the Superstore cannot ship to, because apparently the Superstore only ships, uh, to the States. Well, except for Alaska and Hawaii. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is actually my first time reviewing the stunt truck, uh, so we'll uh, go over it real quick. Let me zoom in. Uh, so yeah, um, 
So we got the uh, 3D Moss Jam logo uh, in black and silver, which is pretty cool. Uh, the base color is like a silver, uh, which is really cool. And then the uh, black uh, fender flares with the uh, black door staff as well. Uh, the headlights are black and yellow in the shape of a Moss Jam logo, which is pretty cool. A black grill and then the uh, bumper printed in. Uh, the hood has the 3D Moss Jam logo. The uh, roof is blank. And then uh, same thing on this side. On the back, you got a uh, closed uh, rear window with the mossjam.com and the 3D taillights and the uh, rear bumper. And it's got a silver roll cage, a yellow chassis, black tires, yellow rims with BKT printing. And yeah, that is the Moss Jam stunt truck. Um, like I said, I know a lot of people were upset this got released in the singles, but like I said, it's pretty much a compromise for any collector who does not have access to the Superstore. So yeah, that's the uh, third one out of the way. Uh, Sorry. Um, and then the uh, uh, next one we're going to take a look at uh, is the uh, phased out Northern Nightmare. Let's open it up. Okay, so here is the phased out Northern Nightmare. Um, the uh, fifth phased out truck. And this one is pretty decent. So let's uh, zoom in and take a look at the details. So yeah, so we got the Moss Jam logo, the uh, uh, maple leaves going across the body. The Northern Nightmare logo is actually somewhat warped. You can see the colors blending in with like blue, red, and white, and a little bit of yellow. And you got some like yellow spots uh, got kind of going across the side right there. Um, and across the uh, bottom of the uh, front as well, mossjamcanada.ca, normal grill and headlight printing. Uh, here is the Northern Nightmare logo on the top with the uh, warped colors for the logo and there's some blue blending in with the maple leaves on the hood and then the 2000, 2012 Austrian World Finals Freestyle Champion uh, is also kind of warped with uh, colors bleeding through it and then uh, the tailgate uh, uh, the Northern Nightmare logo oh it's actually a little bit blended right here on the back and again with Monsham.com MonsterJamCanada.ca and the, that yellow uh, color right there. Uh, not so much warping going on here. I mean, the Northern Nightmare logo is kind of warped in colors, but everything else looks pretty much the same. Um, and then it's got a red roll cage, white chassis, um, a white tire with a white rim right here, a black tire with a red rim right here, and a white tire with a black rim and another uh, black tire with a red rim right here. So, um, I'd say this is probably my second favorite of the Phase Out series. Um, obviously still the best one was Earthshaker. The Phase Out series was not really the best series in my opinion. So, if they bring this back, if they bring the series back next year, I hope they use some better trucks, um, uh, that actually have really good color warping. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, that is the Northern Nightmare. The fourth truck out of the way, and then the uh, uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is the Steel Reveal Son of a Digger. Let's open it up. So in case you so in case you don't know what the Steel Reveal Steel Reveal series, it's basically like a Zamax series, like a bare metal series. Uh, so for the first two trucks, they kind of used the bare metal, which was printed, but now they're using like a reflective Zamax for the rest of them, which is pretty nice. So yeah, here is the Son of a Digger. Looks really cool. Uh, just your standard Son of a Digger graphics, just with a bare metal body. Uh, and the uh, grill is actually printed in, which is pretty cool, uh, with the headlights. Um, and there's also a new detail. The Avenger hood is gone. Now they added Megalodon into the scrapyard. Uh, and from what I've heard, all Son of Diggers will have this going forward in the future. Um, and yeah, uh, other details, it's got a baby blue roll cage, purple chassis, uh, purple rims with black tires. And yeah, that is the Steel Reveal Son of a Digger. Very cool. And yeah, and then the uh, next one we're going to take a look at is the Monster Jam Ranger Rescue. Let's open it up. Alrighty, so here is Monster Jam Ranger Rescue. Um, the second and final truck from the every Everyday Heroes category. Um... Uh, it's the same casting as Moss Jam Fire Rescue, which is basically an ambulance uh, slash paramedic vehicle. And yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, so we got the uh, ambulance lights right there, the Moss Jam Ranger Rescue logo. 
uh, more detailing, uh, the door handle and some bolts, uh, and I think that's a gas tank. And then you got a white stripe going across the side, the door step. Um, the side mirror is right there. Uh, the uh, grill, uh, which has some bolts on it. I see this is kind of like a futuristic body. Uh, headlights are white. You got the Moshe Ranger Rescue logo again on the hood. Uh, the roof is plain. You got the caution tape right there with more of the uh, turn signals and the ambulance lights. And then you got the doors on the back with with uh, door handles, the windows, and more of the ambulance lights. And then same stuff going on here. And it's got a uh, black roll cage, great chassis, uh, tur turquoise or aquamarine rims actually with black tires. So I'm not sure what a I'm not sure what they were going for with Ranger Rescue. If I had to guess it, they were probably talking about they're talking about field rangers uh, for the military. I think that's what they were going for. I'm really not sure, uh, but that's just uh, that's just an educated guess for me. Uh, so don't quote me on that. I mean, that's just the that's just uh, the oh, and also there's the Washington logo. I forgot to point that out. And so yeah, that's just an educated guess for me. So if anyone is an expert with uh, with uh, uh, paramedic vehicles, uh, and you probably, and, and if someone knows what they were going for with this one, let me know in the comments section below. So yeah, there is the Ranger Rescue, and now we're getting into the uh, heavy hitters of the case. We're going to start with the uh, Purple Grave Digger the Legend. Let's open it up. Alrighty, so here is the uh, Purple Grave Digger the Legend, and uh, a little backstory on it. Uh, the Purple Grave Digger Legend uh, on what this is. So basically, uh, this is a canceled concept. So in 2014, uh, um, they were gonna, they were planning on changing up the design for Grave Digger the Legend. They were thinking of doing a purple body with the iconic Grave Digger ghost on the door, um, and uh, and a lot of people um, weren't really. Uh, keen onto the idea of having Grave Digger the Legend being purple, um, and uh, neither was neither Adam Anderson didn't like the idea as well, because Adam Anderson actually used to drive Grave Digger the Legend, uh, if you guys didn't know that. Um, so, Grave Digger, so, and uh, what Grave Digger the Legend is normally supposed to be is supposed to be they, uh, basically wanted to keep it original because it's supposed to be based off of the original blue and silver grave digger from 1984 so they so they ended up scrapping this concept and just kept it and just kept it uh the uh normal blue and silver design um but yeah um and monster jam ocd who is the brand ambassador for spin master monster jam actually requested spin master to do this and they actually did it so let's uh go into the uh, in-depth graphics review on this thing uh, this is really cool. So, here's the Gravedigger the Legend logo in a white font this time. The Gravedigger, the iconic Gravedigger ghost, the Moss Jam logo, the, uh, silver, uh, fender panels, and it's, uh, and if my camera will pick it up, it's actually, a uh, metal flake for most of the body, which is pretty cool. Um, and then on the front, you got the headlights and the, uh, bumper printing with a purple grill, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, uh, purple and silver hood, uh, the silver roof, or the purple roof is plain, there's nothing on it. Uh, uh, the uh, door panels were also uh, plain as well, but I love the purple color. Uh, and here is the uh, uh, side panel, same thing going on here. And it's got a black roll cage, gray chassis, uh, black tires with a gray rim and uh, purple bead locks and BKT printing. And yeah, that is the Purple Grave Digger Legend. This thing is awesome. And yeah, um, that was the Purple Grave Digger Legend. And yeah, uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is a first edition for the 2023 Spin Master Mastrium lineup. It is the Velociraptor. Let's open it up. Alrighty, so here it is the Velociraptor, um, a dinosaur themed monster truck owned by Team Throttle Monster, which is an independent monster truck team that competes in Monster Jam. Uh, the Velociraptor truck actually uh, 
actually was first revealed at the Monster Jam World Finals 21 pit party last year in 2022. And I actually got a picture in front of the truck when it got revealed. Um, I actually put a picture at the end of the video um, of me uh, uh, in front of the Velociraptor truck. Um, so yeah, um, the, the this is the orange and purple body, which was driven by David Olfer. They also have a black and blue body, uh, which is driven by uh, other drivers like uh, it was originally driven by Travis Mowry, but Travis Mowry actually retired from driving because he wanted to spend more time with his family. Um, so if I had to guess, I think it's going to be Jeff Souza, or uh, 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 I think Devin Winfield will be driving the uh, blue one in the future. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at the uh, truck in in-depth graphics review. So here it is. You got the Velociraptor logo on the uh, rear, uh, on the leg right there. Uh, you got the uh, talon coming out and the the uh, claws. Uh, and I think that's supposed to be the arm right there. Moss Jam logo, Team Toronto Monster uh, All the uh, all the detail, which is very which is very nice. Uh, and you got the uh, teeth going across the body. Um, very cool. Uh, Redline, Redline Oil, which is one of the sponsors for Team Throttle Monster. You got the nostrils and more of the teeth. Uh, and you got like, uh, and the there's the uh, purple on the hood and the roof. The uh, purple, uh, I think those are supposed to be like scales. And then there's the tail right there. Very cool. Um, I gotta say, I like the Spin Master version of Velociraptor more than the Monster Machines one because it's actually a lot more detailed. Uh, and uh, the detailing is actually really nice that you got the eyeball right there. It's just really cool. Uh, in real life, they actually cut out the eyeball just so the driver can see. Um, yeah, here's all the scale detail, which looks very awesome. And then uh, same stuff going on here. And uh, I really wish they would have added uh, David Too Tall on here. I think that would have been pretty cool because that's David Olford's nickname, David Too Tall. Uh, because that's actually because that's actually on the real orange Velociraptor, um, and yeah, so and it's also got a black roll cage, great chassis, uh, black tires with black rims with BKT printing, and yeah, that is the first edition release of this year, the uh, Velociraptor. Uh, I'm I don't know if this is a one and done one and done deal or Spin Master may release this again. I'm 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 really not sure. But either way, very cool to have Velociraptor in the collection. And yeah. So last but not least, we have the chase piece, the slicer. Let's open it up. All right, so here it is, the slicer, the, the fifth uh, chase piece for this year for the food truck series, Monster Feast. And yeah, uh, this is supposed to be a pizza themed food truck. So let's take a look at the details. Um, it's really hard to, so now that I have this in my hands, I believe, I have to say this is probably my second favorite of all the food trucks that have been released. My favorite still is probably Glaze Machine, uh, cause I feel like that one was hard to top for me. Uh, but there is one more coming out still, which is Grease Trap. Once I have that in my hands, maybe it'll, maybe it'll be number one. I really don't know. But still, this one probably takes second place for me, um. But yeah, this one's very cool. So let's take a look at the uh, details on this one here. Let's kind of zoom out just a little bit. Um, so we got the slicer logo with some cheese splattering everywhere. Uh, oh, it looks like, uh, and then you got the uh, pizza slicer cutting through the pizza. Got some pepperoni, jalapenos, uh, black olives, uh, some more cheese. Um, you got the mushroom logo right there. Uh, some more pizza wrapping around the front end, the headlights and the grill. The slicer logo with some cheese melting on it and uh, the tomatoes, or not tomatoes, pepperoni. Um, and then here's the roof. You got the uh, air vent, uh, red spoiler, the uh, pepperoni, uh, the uh, uh, jalapenos and the black olives and some pizza crust with the uh, lights. Um, and then here's the back. Uh, you got some pepperoni, uh, jalapeno, the tail lights and you got some cheese melting on the back which is pretty cool and then here's the side right here you got like a plate of pizza uh or the the uh plate that the pizza would sit on uh and you got some more uh pizza toppings right there the gas tank uh you got the more you got more of the cheese melting pepperoni all that stuff um 
and yeah, so let's take a look at the puns. It looks like it looks like mine mine's door is loose. Uh, uh, but yeah, here's the uh, menu puns. So let's see what we got. Um, it says here uh, by the slice. Uh, Monster Margarita, Meatless Mayhem, and Gravedigger's Delight. Uh, three, three dollars, three dollars, five dollars. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty clever, Gravedigger's Delight. Um, and yeah, uh, this one's actually pretty cool. Uh, I gotta get that door fixed. I don't know how it got loose. Oh, I, I fixed it. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's got a, uh, Green roll cage, a white chassis, uh, red rims uh, with like these uh, yellowish brown tires, um, which I believe is supposed to be. Uh, I think the tires are supposed to be pizza crust, and the yellow rim and the red rims are supposed to be like pizza sauce, which is pretty creative. And I think uh, the white chassis is supposed to be like the cheese, and then the green roll cage I think is supposed to be like jalapenos. Um, so yeah. That'll conclude the review of Series 32 for Spin Master Moss Jam 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a new video when I upload one. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. This is Eli or Curry Gaming, signing out.